Shirley and Grau's Pulitzer Prize-winning novel, The Keepers of the House, published in 1964, immerses readers in the rural landscapes of Alabama. It delves into the lives of multiple generations of the Howland family, all residing in the same ancestral house. Spanning the transition from pre- to post-Civil War era, the narrative serves as a metaphor for established Deep South families grappling with shifting societal norms. By exploring race relations and exposing the hypocrisy of racism, the novel fiercely condemns racist rhetoric and ignites a public discourse during the civil rights movement. Structured into four sections and an epilogue, the story is narrated by Abigail, who possesses omniscience, allowing her to delve into the thoughts, emotions, and motivations of other characters. She describes her connection to previous generations as if they were spectral entities, their memories intertwining with her own. The first section introduces the initial William Howland, tracing his journey through Mississippi as he joins Andrew Jackson in the War of 1812. Settling in Madison City, Mississippi, William meets a tragic fate during a Native American raid, leaving behind six children to carry on his legacy. Another William Howland, a descendant, meets his demise during the Civil War, paving the way for the present William to assume the role of the house's custodian. Unlike his predecessors, the present William is a peaceful man, finding solace in the beauty of the moon and the sensory pleasures offered by the earth, rather than in the pursuit of hunting. He remains unmarried after being widowed at a young age until he crosses paths with Margaret, whose Mississippi roots are intertwined with the legacy of Andrew Jackson, who emancipated the slaves that fought alongside him. Margaret, belonging to the Free Jack community, migrated to the area while maintaining a distinct separation from other black individuals. The Free Jacks had intermarried with the Choctaws, adopting many Native American customs. It is revealed that Margaret's mother conceived her with a white man who briefly passed through their community. Although Margaret does not outwardly display any signs of her white heritage, she recalls instances of buttermilk being applied to her face, her hair being dampened, and being left outside to bleach under the sun. When William and Margaret come together, they live as companions in the house for three decades until William's passing. During this time, they have three children named Robert, Nina, and Chrissy. Once the children reach a suitable age, they are sent away to receive education. The townspeople reluctantly accept William and Margaret's relationship as long as they do not seek formal marriage. The narrative then shifts to Abigail, William's daughter, from his first marriage. Abigail had married an English professor who later left her to serve in World War II while she was pregnant. After 10 years of marriage, Abigail returns home with her daughter, also named Abigail, Raised by William and Margaret as surrogate parents, alongside her siblings Robert, Nina, and Chrissy, the younger Abigail serves as the storyteller. Her coming-of-age journey becomes particularly relevant to contemporary times. Witnessing historical events such as the Pearl Harbor attack while attending grammar school and hearing the President's declaration of war, Abigail navigates the post-World War II era, pursuing higher education and eventually marrying John Tolliver a young man driven to enter politics. However, Margaret's other children, filled with resentment from being sent away, grow increasingly angered by John's affiliation with the Ku Klux Klan and his support of racist policies and ideologies. Following William's death, Margaret decides to leave the Howland house, leaving Abigail and John to take on the role of keepers. However, their harmony is shattered when Robert publicly reveals that Margaret and William had indeed married, thus legitimizing their three children. This revelation severely damages John's political campaign, infuriating the townspeople who feel that the family has disrupted long-established customs in the community. In a fit of rage, the townspeople retaliate by killing the Howland's livestock and setting fire to their barn. In response, Abigail takes action and sets fire to the vehicles belonging to the townspeople, effectively saving her house from destruction. While Abigail contemplates using further force to protect her light-skinned siblings, she realizes that this path would contradict her grandfather's principles and ultimately lead to her own downfall. She understands that continuing the fight against her neighbors will only perpetuate the cycle of destruction. The Keepers of the House serves as a portrayal of the hypocrisy prevalent among Southerners, whose attitudes towards race often contradict their actions. This dissonance is exemplified in the character of John Tolliver, who must confront his own beliefs and whether he genuinely embraces the racist rhetoric he outwardly supports. The book's release was met with substantial criticism, with Grau facing public attacks, 
including a cross burning on her lawn by members of the Ku Klux Klan. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.